Hello, so Sneaky Pete is one of the many shows that I watch. I watch too many shows at the moment, I watch way too many shows. And I said it's like, I said it's like every time, but like, seriously. I watch way too much. I don't know how I keep up, to be honest. Plus there's a lot of shows more that I want to start as well, so... I, it's just, it's just crazy. But um, like two years, not two years ago, sorry, like last year I think? Someone recommended me Sneaky Pete. And it was on season two, so I thought I'd just check it out and... It's really interesting, like, um, I'm mainly making this video to, like, recommend the show, basically. If you haven't seen it, check it out. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can watch it for free, but, like, if you haven't, like, just try and check it out. Check out Sneaky Pete's. Try season one, and let me know what you think, okay? It's created by Brian Cranston, who plays Walter White, obviously. He's in season one, by the way. Um, he's a gangster. Basically, the main character, Marius... He is in prison because he's a con man. He's a he's a con man. He cons people to get money and other things, etc. He's a con man, and um, he has a cellmate called Pete, and the gangster played by um, Brian Cranston. He owes money to. I'm just I'm just calling Walter White. Okay, he owns Heisenberg. He owes money to Heisenberg, right? And when he gets out of prison, basically Pete, his cellmate. Um, Tells him everything about his life, basically. How he's like, haven't seen his family in ages. He tells people, he tells his cellmate Marius about his life. When Marius gets out of prison, he uses Pete's name to go to Pete's family and hide there, pretending to be Pete. While he also owes the gangster money. And then there's more, it gets, there's more to it as well. I can't really say anything more because it's spoilers, but there's a lot more to it. But that's like the main, like, the basic plot line to it. He owes someone money. So he takes the identity of his cellmate to uh, take cover, basically. And um, also the family's involved with some stuff as well. So it escalates to some crazy places. So I recommend season one. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Season two as well, obviously. I mean, if you like season one, continue watching. But anyway, the rest of this video is my thoughts on season three. Season three for me um, is probably the weakest season, which isn't really like... A bad thing like I felt season one and two really solid I felt they're both really good um, season three was a lot slower to me um, I felt like I wanted more out of it like um, they were doing a storyline about uh, a certain missing person I can't say anything else about that but the climax to it I kind of wanted more out of it. I was just like really that's the twist on it but um, overall I felt season three was interesting it was pretty good it just didn't quite hold up to the first two seasons. Um, but yeah, that's the main story that I did, like, towards the last few episodes. I felt they should have done better with. I felt they could have, like, done more of it. I don't know if they're doing season four, but I hope they do. I hope they do do a season four. Because I want to see what happens with uh, certain characters. And I want to see what happens when certain things get revealed. Um, but still, like, it's, it's really interesting, this show. Um, but season three is just... I don't know, it just, it didn't seem as good as the first two seasons, I just, aside from like the twist, um, there wasn't that much wrong with it, but I don't know, it, it just didn't seem as good as the first two seasons, um, it wasn't as intense, it was a lot slower, which isn't always the worst thing, but it wasn't that great, it wasn't that great, it was, it was okay, it was quite good, but it wasn't like amazing, so yeah, so I'm gonna rate season three a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten, I think is fair. So, yeah, this is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and see ya.